A lot of times when you hear about like a dinosaur that's been found with skin, what's actually found is like an impression of that skin in the rock. So the skin itself isn't fossilized, it was there, it imprinted in the, in the rock, and then it, um, then it degraded away and was lost, but that imprint stayed behind in the rock. So we can learn what the outside of the skin looked like from the imprint, but we don't have the skin itself. Dakota is the three-dimensionally fossilized skin, um, and that we're still trying to figure out how that happens. Uh, most of the fossil is replaced with iron, uh, so we know that being in an in a environment with a lot of iron, like a very swampy environment with a lot of plants decaying, is very key, but we're still trying to figure out how you get this exquisite type of preservation, which is obviously very hard to do because we find so few of them. And so Dakota is teaching us a lot about what this animal looked like, but also just teaching us a lot about fossilization in general. So when you, we just got a few seconds left but before we go to the break, but the idea that this is fun. What does the rest of the world think about wanting to get their hands on something like this? Is this, is this kind of like a dream come true to have this opportunity? Yeah, so Dakota is definitely our centerpiece of the North Dakota State Fossil Collection. We're very happy to have it here. Permanently, it'll always be here um, in Bismarck. Um, and we do get a lot of researcher requests to come visit it, and I, see, I don't see that letting up any time. And it's nice to have uh, a specimen that was found here in North Dakota stay in North Dakota to bring people here instead of going to some other museum and you know people from North Dakota might not ever see it even though this was its original home. 